If something is legal according to the laws of the land, can it still be a sin? Uh, this is Barry Phillips with 10 Minute Tour, day five of Akarimot, after the death, after the death of Adav, Nadav and Avahu. Let's go to um, Leviticus, Vayikra chapter 18, verse 1. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, I am Yahweh your Elohim. Do not do as they do in the land of Mitzrayim where you dwelt. And do not do as they do in the land of Kenan where I am bringing you. And do not walk in their laws. Do my right rulings and guard my laws to walk in them. I am Yahweh, your Elohim, and you shall guard my laws and my right rulings, which a man does and lives by them. Again, I am Yahweh. And then we'll just read one of these many verses. Verse 6. No one is to approach anyone of his own flesh to uncover his nakedness. I am Yahweh. What continues after verse 6 is a list of prohibitions concerning uncovering the nakedness, exposing the bodily nakedness, and by continuing thought, having relations, intimate relations, with that exposed person when that exposed person is of your own family. One might reason, and reasonably so, that chapter 18 out of all of the Torah's chapters might be the one it should not be necessary. What is prohibited in this chapter goes against any sense or normalcy and reasonable brain function of any society. No one should be practicing these kinds of prohibitions. It is predicated by do not adopt and practice Mitzrite or Egyptian culture, at least that of that day. Do not adopt nor practice that of the Canaanite culture of that day, which tells us that those two cultures, one previous to them, one what they were getting ready to experience, both of these cultures are completely defiled, debauched, and out of their minds. Yet, if you live among such people, you will have a great temptation and propensity to start adopting and accepting the reasoning of such cultural activity. And before we point fingers and say those people should have known better, let's look at our own society and say our people, we people, should know better. Why is it necessary for Yah to tell us, do not have intimate bodily relations with your parents or your siblings or your aunts and uncles and your mother-in-law? I'm not pausing for effect. I'm dumbfounded. Why? Why? Why is it necessary to even say, don't do that? That I mean, that's just human nature should tell you this is this is out of the realm of reason. Yet people will say, well, the law says the law there's nothing illegal about. And at least in this particular category, thankfully, it is still illegal for 
incestuous relationships to be taking place, at least for the present. But let's also be aware that there are voices within the ranks of our nations that say, uh, you should loosen the boundaries here, really. Uh, this this is just this is just another expression of life, and we should not we should not look down on those who practice such things. Yeah, we should. Yes, we should. But the law of the land is also that here it says that we are not in verse twenty one to give any of our offspring to pass through to Molech and do not profane the name of Yahweh your Elohim. Children were slain in the process, horribly so, to be offered to Molech. It was a horrific practice. The abortion industry in many of our nations and lands, they are, uh, the act is legal. It is the right of the mother as to whether she gives birth to a conceived child or not. What about the child's rights? Well, they're just an embryo. It's just fetus tissue. It's not a viable living being yet. All the arguments stand up, and they're yelled very loudly. Yah says, even though the law of the land permits it, do not do as they do in these lands. Do not join yourselves to this practice. Yes, that means you're singled out. Yes, that means you're different. But we obey the Torah above and beyond any land legalities or permissions. It says here that homosexuality is not to be practiced, that it is a deviant practice. It is against the nature nature of Yah. And he says in verse uh, 22 that it is an abomination. But it is permitted in the law of the land. It is legal. Do not do as they do. There is no justifications, not from the word, not from the Torah, for anyone who has a belief in Messiah, the belief in Messiah Yeshua, to practice homosexuality. It used to be, decades ago, adultery was an illegal practice. You could go to, technically, you could go to jail for practicing adultery. It is so commonplace now, you may get divorced over it. You may lose acquaintances over it. It will divide you from uh, some of your relationships, potentially. Other times, people say, you poor thing, we just understand. Yet, according to the word, Yah says this is not to be practiced. How have we gotten to this place? How is it that we have arrived at practicing illicit relationships? And if you think this is bad, it says here that you're not to lay down with idols, uh, not excuse me, not idols, but with animals. If you think that that's not coming, maybe you should be aware it it's already here. And thankfully, it is still illegal, at least at this point. But there will be those voices that will begin to promote its reasonableness and it's promote its acceptance. The unthinkable will become the norm when those who are righteous justify and go along and say nothing, and y'all forbid even begin to join in with the practice of such things. May y'all help us. 
complete turn here. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. May he grant you shalom in the day of perversions that we live in. May we find this carved out place of his presence and his reality and embrace this day and find the warm embrace of our king. Shabbat shalom. We'll see you again next week. Mm-hmm.